Today, let's talk about the Go Train uh, extension uh, for uh, the Green Line, which used to be the Georgetown Line, then it was the Kitchener Line, and now it's the London Line. But people are getting concerned over the fact that uh, many of the, the stations are uh, shared with uh, via rail and uh, um, and the travel time between uh, to the end of the London uh, station, uh, which is in the southwestern part of Ontario. So is that really worth the time to like... Uh, to buy a ticket to go there and when uh, you could just uh, go on a uh, via rail or or something like that because because the the on the the green line of the uh, go transit uh, line uh, so where uh, stations uh, that are shared with uh, Via Rail is uh, Malton. And also uh, Brampton. And then Gulf Central, Central, uh, and then Kitchener, Stratford, St. Mary's Central, and then London. So, yeah, the travel time, uh, yeah, on a, that apparently, yeah, uh, that they, uh, I'm being told by people it takes like um, at least two or only more than two hours uh, just to uh, get from one place to the other and the fact that uh, the the green line so they only do service uh, in both directions uh, from uh, Union Station and uh, downtown Toronto to uh, Bramalia which is uh, just a GO station not shared with uh, Via Rail and also, uh, they make train uh, train trips back and forth, uh, both directions. Uh, while uh, certain uh, directions, uh, so there's they send uh, train uh, like from one direction, so which goes uh, eastbound from uh, Georgetown, uh, the original uh, end of end of the line. From there, towards our uh, Union, and then the. Uh, from Kitchener and also and now from uh, London and just to remember the fact that they only do this on uh, weekdays not on uh, weekends uh, which only the buses run And they do not stop at all, all train uh, stations. So that's also the Debbie Downer. Well, uh, the Via Train, yeah. They're uh, just uh, more uh, faster, and uh, you could just uh, get to uh, Malton, Brampton. Gulf, Central, Kitchen, or Stratford, St. Mary's Central, and uh, and London, and a much more st speedier time, and it takes like take like less than an, an hour, cause you know they go like their trains that go like at least uh, 150 kilometers uh, up to that time.
and also the ticket cost and also uh, is that much uh, uh, or higher so depending on what station is then it uh, if you uh, go to uh, an early car riding on a westbound train that uh, stops at uh, Stratford St. Mary Central or uh, London at the end of the line yeah those are like the ones that uh, cost a lot, a lot of uh, money so And guess what? If you uh, are departing from uh, London uh, Govia Station or St. Mary's uh, Central Station, uh, which is then St. Mary's, and of course Stratford, also the one, uh, the first one after Kitchener. You cannot uh, buy tickets uh, using your. Uh, you can't just you use your Presto card like the bing, and board the train. You have to buy tickets online, and maybe uh, at the counter desk uh, if they are like doing it, uh, you'll have to check uh, from someone who actually uh, lives there, around there. And also the fact that uh, they're uh, also uh, wasting their time uh, and projects that like they were supposed to was just starting uh, working on uh, Confederation uh, Station uh, which was the new end of the line on the uh, Lakeshore West uh, line which is the uh, sort of the dark red uh, mahogany that colored line on the Lakeshore line. Which was like, technically the all a sign that uh, also uh, the last end of the line uh, all of that after Aldershot, which is also uh, shared go go station also shared with uh, Via Rail, that also uh, is connected to uh, London that line. And I'll pull the, the other one on the Lakeshore East line, which is just a, just a red one. They were supposed to work on that one too, uh, which they were, it was the train uh, after uh, Whippy uh, Go Station. They were, it was supposed to branch off uh, sidetracking side uh, Oshawa Go Via and uh, going to Thornton. Thornton station uh, which is on uh, Thornton Road uh, and then Ritson and then Curtis and then Bowmanville which uh, this uh, branches off on, on the, the onto the, the CP rail line instead so that's uh, technically will be also managed by CP rail also uh, like the uh, CP Rail also managed the, the the Milton line, the orange one. Although most likely that those ones uh, will only uh, operate in uh, early in the morning uh, to the towards the Union, and uh, and then the uh, even. Throughout the evening, they will only depart to uh, the final destination, which does happen on uh, weekdays. Uh.
so the worth of uh, just adding um uh, just adding the going train station part to us uh, Stratford St. Mary's Central and London that wasn't even uh, really worth it and uh, they could have just started uh, working on the project that they originally planned first but Metrolinx yeah they're you know they have these problems all the time and you know why don't they do it, something about it and you know, maybe start working on it and the fact that I've been to Oshawa so many times and see if they have been working on it and no I can prove that they haven't even started construction on the Lakeshore East construction line and from what I've been told uh, and others have uh, said to others on a Metrolinx uh, part uh, on uh, Facebook that they haven't even started uh, working on the Lakeshore West extension uh, either so those uh, who sort of uh, live closer to uh, the end of uh, Hamilton Wentworth region and uh, Niagara region which that uh, Confederation station is uh, will be very close to and definitely uh, during the summer Niagara go via extension uh, which they do uh, only do only during the summer and uh, will definitely be connected to uh, so that was actually not really worth it and yeah they could have done something better about it and, oh. And not to forget uh, the Richmond Hill line, which stretch, originally stretches to the Richmond Hill uh, go station. Uh, so it's sort of like the light blue uh, line. Uh, and then it stretched uh, to uh, Gormley, which is like just one station uh, after in uh, Gormley. Uh, The town of Gormley, and then they boosted it to the town of uh, Bloomington and made Bloomington Station, which is now the end point. And they only uh, operate one on weekdays only. And the fact that no one really uses that line much, and it could highway highway four hundred four just run around aside that so people really have no use used to uh to go there and the fact that uh the buses uh on the weekends uh they just sidetrack uh the station uh, after uh the depart from union station though so the first uh, station is oreo which is uh just close to uh the Highway 401 just really right up right right below of it and yeah barely anybody uses that station because uh, it's really silent and um, the buses don't go there and the one after Old Comer which is close to a uh, Comer uh, Avenue or yeah Comer Road yeah Buses don't even uh, go to there, and yeah, that's all. Which is right above under the power lines uh, that run through under there, then yeah, that's also one of the unsafe ones. And yeah, no one goes there much, do. But also. Bloomington uh, go uh, station was also uh, one of those wastes they did this year and Bloomington early this year around uh, spring and that summer now in October did uh, 
Stratford, St. Mary Central, and London stations. With there's also a joint with Via Rail, and uh, absolutely uh, no uh, word on uh, the extension for the Lakeshore uh, lines, east and west. And yeah, and let's not forget about uh, TTC Line 5, which is uh, light rail transit, Eglinton Crosstown. They haven't even completed that one. It's still under maintenance. They're doing test runs, but yeah, people are very angry about that, how it's affecting businesses from, uh, from uh, Western Road to Kennedy Road. And it's just not worth it. There's a, you know, if you go by, drive by it, there's always a turn out of a congestion. You can't turn left, you can't turn right at certain points and at most points. And yeah, that was a, co a complete waste. And if you, they were to actually complete it, they should have uh, done it way sooner. Because if they did that project, uh, they started that project like early, like 2010. Uh, they even uh, promoted it and uh, advertised it at uh, Canadian uh, National X, the CNE, which uh, is held every year in uh, yeah, the summer. And that uh, they, um, I have seen that uh, they were advertising uh, that they were uh, making the Eglinton cross down and nice sleek design, uh, like the LR, LRT uh, car. And, uh, the and yeah, nice design, but they started like, like around 2010, 2011, and yet they haven't even ended it when they could have done, finished it even this year. So it looks like uh, it's going to have a uh, sun. There's been a word saying 20, not 25 and or some other stuff. Also the extension of, of uh, the, the go train lines that they were supposed to make. Nope. And that just proves that Metrolinx is being, just being lazy. So that's a lot of uh, um, well, money wasted on things that when they could have done finished stuff sooner instead of making some uh, pointless uh, stations or just joint uh, doing it with uh, via rail when you know, And the fact that uh, barely, not much people even use that extension of uh, the London line now, so. It's like Crickens going. Literally everyone's angry right now, including me at Metrolinx for, for not doing something about it. So, well, that's just so bad. Well, things are improved and actually Metrolinx uh, up, actually does uh, start construction on stuff which they might make or not we'll see